Now let us try to draw the PV diagram of an ideal gas. There also we we'll, we we'll find there is deviation from the from the ideal behavior. So so this is V the volume. This is P the pressure. Okay, this is volume. And this is pressure. Okay. Now, what happens? If this is how if this is how the the real gas <coughs> is this is how the ideal gas should have behaved okay so this is the real gas while the red line is the ideal gas. The ideal gas. Okay. PV is equal to a constant is a rectangular hyperbola. Fine. Mathematically. So, so x y x y is equal to constant is a rectangular hyperbola. Hyperbola. Let me let me go into the small mathematics of it because that will that will end your confusion for once and for all. If this is x and y axis x and y axis then if I try to plot x y is equal to say a positive constant okay let us say this is positive then x and y should be both positive or both negative if you kind of look it like look at it like this So it will look, it will look like a hyperbola. You, you just kind of shift it like this. Then the conventional hyperbola that you people have studied in maths and conic sections, it will look like that. Okay. So the axis is actually y is equal to x line. That is the axis. Okay. And, and it's asymptotes. That means at infinity, it, it, tries to, it never touches it, but it tries to touch these two lines, the x and the y axis. So the asymptotes are actually perpendicular to each other. Understand? It is perpendicular to each other. That's why it is called a rectangular hyperbola. Okay? A rectangular hyperbola. So it will be ideally this, but there is nothing like a negative pressure or a negative volume. So in our case, PV is equal to constant. It does not go to the third quadrant. Understand? So whenever you are you you come across and there are so many things that, that actually follow like this. Okay, so so later when you go um hmm, say constant constant power systems, force versus velocity, f into v is constant. So again it will be a, a rectangular hyperbola. Okay. Okay, constant work f into displacement, f into x is constant, rectangular hyperbola. Fine. So you have to understand this. And this is a very, very important concept. And, and it, its origin is in maths. So x, y is equal to constant is a rectangular hyperbola. So, so it, it, it was following the same rectangular hyperbola kind of thing, this ideal gas equation. Okay? It has to be a constant. Now, 
what you see is actually this. What we see is that that as as you start increasing the pressure, that means reducing the volume. Okay, here here they start becoming almost the same, but here they deviate and deviate a lot. What are those conditions? A very very high pressure situation. A very very low pressure. A very very low volume situation. Okay, so. the graph deviates from the ideal gas situation at high pressure and low volume and low volume right high pressure low volume we find it to be deviating and what do we see what do we see that at the higher pressure at the higher pressure the volume of the ideal gas that I expect is less than that of the real gas, right. At high pressure, the volume of the what qualifies as high pressure? The ideal gas. I, the, the, I, I see uh, where the deviation is high, right? And these are high pressure areas when I kind of, where the deviation is high, right? The ideal gas, the ideal gas, because uh, see what happens, uh, the pressure also depends on the, on the amount of gas that you are having inside, correct? Hmm? So, so, at high pressure, the volume of the ideal gas is lesser than the volume of the real gas, correct? We understand that. Fine. Okay. That is the observation. But then there should be there should be a reason. What is the reason behind this? Why do they deviate? Hmm? Why do they ultimately deviate? So, so that we will explore next.